Who will win the 23-24 Premier League season? Let's get into it. Hello, welcome to Ami Edson. I hope you're well. If you like what I do here, don't forget to like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notifications bell for all future videos. So, who will win the Premier League season 2023-2024? Who's going to come out on top? Who's going to finish second, third, fourth, and all the way down to 10th? I'm going to tell you who I think it will be. We're just coming into the Christmas season. By the beginning of next year, we're really going to have a good idea of which teams have got the resilience to go all the way and which are going to fall off. I have my thoughts right now. We've just gone past the third way through the season. Let's just see where I think the, the top 10 will be. In 10th position, I think we're going to see Brighton and Hove Albion. That's where I see them. I don't really see them doing it better than they did last season. In 9th, I see that Chelsea are going to get more ground, but I think they're going to be inconsistent still. And I think next season, Chelsea are going to come on strong again. But right now, I still think they're going to falter. So they're going to come in at ninth. Now, my team, West Ham, I was hoping that I could see them into the top seven, top six. But I see them finishing eighth. Aston Villa, who are flying high right now, they're actually a really decent outfit this season. I see them dropping a few places uh, after Christmas. And they're going to go all the way down to seventh. In six, I think we're going to see Tottenham there. A little bit of inconsistency is going to come through. I think we're going to see some decent results, but a lot of draws. And possibly they're going to let in quite a few goals as well. And I think that's just the nature of their football right now. Under Ange, they're, they're playing some more attractive football, more aggressive football. But also they're leaking a few goals as well. But, hey... That's still great for them. So next season, I think, you know, if they carry on the same vein, they could be a real threat and to have that consistency as well. Okay, in fifth place, just missing out on the Champions League uh, top four, uh, Manchester United. Uh, now, it was a bit of a tough ask here to see whether they would, they would even get to fifth right now because I think they are a basket case of a club and they're just not consistent enough to challenge I don't think even in the top five top six but I think they're going to come good towards the latter part of the season and I think they're still going to be inconsistent but they'll still make that top five so Manchester United top five okay top four well Newcastle United I still think they're going from strength to strength they're going to finish fourth closely behind Manchester City in third that's going to shock a lot of people because at the start of the season i was always saying yeah manchester city they are they are the machine nobody can beat them but i've seen them quite a few times now this season where they haven't looked that good i still think that their defense is vulnerable i've been saying it for about four or five years that their defense is vulnerable especially any balls over the top that's putting pressure on the defense where they have to turn and run back towards the keeper i just don't think that they're that convincing and any team that has put them under pressure really goes at uh, Manchester City. Invariably, they can see goals. Now, that doesn't mean that Manchester City won't go on and score a lot more goals than, than the opposition. But it does mean that their defence isn't as rock solid as possibly it might have been. And certainly not consistently so. So for me, Manchester City go third. In second place, in second place, uh, I think this comes down to, again, that word consistency, Liverpool. I think Liverpool are going to come out in second place. And that means there's only one winner. There's only one winner where I think that Arsenal are going to do it this season. And that's going to be joyful tunes to all those Arsenal fans out there, I'm sure. But I just think under Arteta this season, they've shown a bit more resilience. They're getting some decent results in Europe. And they've got a great squad of players there. Declan Rice, obviously from West Ham. Declan Rice there has, has been a, a, a great addition to their team and has just made them a more of a sure-footed outfit as well. Now, we won't really know until January, February, as we run into the tail end of the season, what it's really looking like. But for me, right now, just gone past the third way through the season, I think Arsenal in the strongest position to go all the way. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think your team should actually be in the top 10? Do you think I've got these uh, places completely wrong? Of course, right now it's just a guess. Who knows? It could be anything, right? But I do think the likes of Tottenham and Chelsea just not going to do it this season. I think it's going to be next season and we have to watch out for them. I think the likes of Aston Villa and West Ham, I think that's about right where they are. Possibly next season they could build on, but for right now, I think they're where we are. I think the really interesting club to watch out for is Newcastle and United. Manchester United, we don't really know until they sort out all their backroom stuff, their ownership, 
how they're going to change. We don't know what's going to happen with the manager as well. By the time this video comes out, they might have changed the manager uh, or tomorrow they might uh, sack him as well. We just don't know. It really depends how their results go as well. But it's their inconsistency that's going to be their downfall. But in terms of Manchester City, I just don't think they're as strong as they were last season. Liverpool, I think they're almost there, but not quite there. But Arsenal, they're the ones. They're the ones to beat in the long term. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you like what I do here, don't forget to like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notifications bell for all future videos. And I'll catch you again on another video coming very soon. Bye now.